hands go are up. Like if he says, get the hands up, get them up higher, you know? If you go like this and he goes, put them higher, higher, you know? Okay, you have to, right? So your hands up high. <clears throat> what you're going to do is, you remember loisine Y footwork? You're going to do loisine Y footwork from this morning, well from, and you're going to use, remember pow sow and gum sow. So you're going to go like this. And what happens is if his finger's on the trigger, put your finger on the trigger. If his finger's on the trigger, you're going to go bang. And you're going to shoot him with his own gun. Yeah. Okay? And that's the first thing you're going to do. Now the next thing you're going to do after that is grab his elbow and hit him in the face with his own gun. So we're going to go like, like this. And then we're going to go to try to shoot him. Then after we go to shoot him, we're going to grab like this, even if he doesn't let go, smash him in the face with his own gun. Then you can strip the gun. Now, when, when the enemy has the gun in your, your lower back, you don't know which hand he has it in, right? Yeah, it's so. probably the right hand. It's probably the right hand, because most people are right-handed. But still, you should, you should look. Because after all, you're going to look. So you should take, you know, like this and look. Now, you determine which hand the gun is in. If it's, if it's in the right hand, you're going to use your left hand. And you're going to go like this. You're going to go, no, no, you know, I don't want any trouble. You're going to go like this. Bam! Then, you're going to wrap the gun like this, strip it, and press around. So, you're going to look back with your hands up. And look back like, you know, what is he doing? You're going to slide back. This foot is going to slide here. That foot is going there. This hand is going to the gun. And this hand is going to punch him in the face. So you're going to go, this is going to punch him in the face. And you go, ooh, right? And hit him in the face. Now, this hand that's down in Gangsao goes over like this, and we push down and take the gun, pointing at him, right? And then we fresh round, and we're holding it on him. Same thing, to know which side the gun is on. We're going to do the same movement as before. It just happens a little bit different. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to trap it like this with hooks out, okay? Then, once I have the gun stripped like this, I'm going to strip the gun this way at him. Hand it to myself. So, I'm going to make him, try to make him shoot himself. I'm going to go like this, you know, I don't, I don't want any trouble. I'm going to turn like this to punch him. Boom, and I'm going to trap it with hooks out. Then, turn it to his face. And then, strip in hand. The gun in my tummy. It could be this way or it could be this way doesn't matter now the footwork you're going to use if you guys remember um, well you, you don't remember it there's a footwork in Wing Chun there's Ding Ji Ma which is this now that's a little fancy you don't have to do that but that's the footwork that would be perfect you can also use Loi Sin Wai step and face but what we're going to do when, uh, when the opponent puts the gun at our tummy or in front of our tummy low it doesn't matter it can be touching can be not touching. You don't care. You're going to put up your hands, but not all the way up. You're going to go like this. Okay? Even if you're going to go like, like this. But not, not this. Because the plan is going to be to turn the gun on him like that. All right? It's similar to what we did before when we smashed him in the face. It's the same idea. But you're going to do it from here. This is not good enough. Now, your finger that hits this should look like that, like a, like a Y. And this one is pow So you're going to go like this. And when you hit it, your hand's going to hit it like with the thumb on this side. No, right? No. Yes. So as you, you're going to step off out of the line of fire and turn the gun at the enemy. Then, of course, you can smash him in the face with his own gun again. Strip it. And a suck, right? So what we're going to do is the same loisine Y footwork, and we're going to use, remember in the chum form? Step off and here like this, and then we'll hit the gun, 
Long Bridge. No. Yes. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the gun away like this and then trap the gun and point it back at himself. Boom. Strip it again. Again, we're going to be like, whoa, like this, right? Like hands up a little bit. And we're going to shoot it like this, wrap it, and strip it this way, the same way as before. So as we, as we bring the hand up, we shoot this way, we wrap it, and we strip it like this. We can catch the gun the same way. He's probably going to drop it this time. But the important thing is I turn my head. So Bryce, you say bang. Boom. So when you turn your head, the gun automatically goes past your head. Right? So if he presses it, I, I actually recommend you push against it. You know, instead of going away from it, you push against it because then you can turn. Now, of course, if it shoots, it's going to make you deaf, but you're not going to be dead. So now that's just alone this. But at the same time I do that, I shoot this through. I wrap that gun and I catch my hand and I turn like this to strip the gun. I can break his hand, and then of course I can reach in and strip the gun like this. Now, right now, Bryce cannot see this hand. Right, you can see this hand, right Bryce? Mm -hmm. Can you see what I'm doing with this hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> he can't see, like, now I know. <laughs> see, but he, he can't see this hand is my point. So what we're gonna do is this. And then we're going to bring it over our shoulder and break his arm. So you're going to use Kao Sao from Siulim Tao. You know Siulim Tao? When you go Kao Moi Jat Chang, Kao, you're going to reach for the gun with Kao and turn the gun to him. Then you're going to bring it over your shoulder and break his arm. Strip the gun. Just reach and turn it out like that. You can strip the gun that way. So. You, it's a little chancier, but you can just snatch it. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you strip it by turning it. On that one, if you're doing the grab, if you turn your head away while you're doing the grab. Absolutely. You don't want to get shot. Yeah. But I snatch it like this. Okay? Because once you have the gun like this, it's pretty easy to turn, take it out of his hand. So, and he goes ready to drive. Don't wait. Go ahead. No, too late, okay? When this, hey, there, trap the hand like that, okay? Now, the hand is, is trapping the weapon. Then what I want you to do is go over the gun hand like that, to the, and you take the gun this way. So, as he goes like reaching, you pop like that, with the same side. Then you're gonna bring it like this, and catch your own wrist. Again. Yeah, and you can make him shoot himself. Okay, then of course you guys know you can take the same defense. What we're going to do is we're going to hands up and, you know, beg like, please don't kill me. But that's how you're going to find out which hand the gun is in. And you're going to go, you know, please don't kill me. Now, what you're going to do for your defense is you're going to use Song Jang from the Chung Q form. And you're going to go like this. Hit the gun. Chancery it, trap it, and kick his leg, and take the gun. Now, it's going to be who's going to surrender, who's going to kill who. I do this. My hands are up, and I surrender. I'm going to elbow as high as I can. You know, I'm not trying to hit the gun, particularly with my elbow. I'm going to go as high as I can. So even if it's on my head, like that, it's still going to hit the gun. Right. So what I do is I this, and I wrap it, chancery. I kick that leg as I turn. Then I can strip the gun and see who's going to kill who. Handed firing position, holding the gun at a distance. OK? This is a two-handed firing position, but you're, the, the gun is being held at a distance. Right? You can't reach it. So the first thing that you're going to do, the most important thing in all the gun defenses, is you have to get out of the line of fire. Right? But it's not good enough to just get out of the line of fire because he'll follow you and shoot you. So you have to keep the gun where it is and get yourself out of the line of fire. So the first thing you're going to do, you know, 
is I surrender. And then your very first move, boom, is going to be step outside face into the uh, yin yang defeated wu. So as you, as you, you know, I give up, or you can be like this, hey man, hey, okay? But you're going to step off, boom, like this. You're going to wrap up the gun immediately. And then you're going to do, you know how we do the neck break? This, this one we do this is to break the neck. The typical move we do in Wing Chun. But what you're going to do on this one is you're going to step off like this, and you're going to do the neck break on the gun. Then you can strip the gun, fresh wrap, and whenever you strip the gun, immediately you have to again, because the gun gets jammed. When, when you take it away from them, the gun, the mechanism gets jammed. And he's getting his fake gun. So every time after you take the gun from your opponent, you have to and put a new bullet, because otherwise the, the gun gets a bullet stuck in it. Yeah. Clear? This is clear. So what happens is, as soon as you, once, once you move off like this, and you wrap it up, and you strip it, you get the gun out of his hand, you have to put a new round in the gun. Because if you don't, yeah, it's well, it is you. Mm -hmm. You got your safety in. That's because the safety's on. The opponent won't have the safety on. Okay, so you have to give it a fresh round. So number one, is, is like, whoa, you step out and reverse, or yin yang defeated move. You're gonna wrap the gun with your thumb up tight. You're gonna turn, and now you can strip the gun, you can't hold it. And now you can hand it to yourself. You know what I mean? So, when once you, once you hit here, wrap it, turn here, yeah, chance, sir. you can strip it out of his hand That's it. and give it to yourself. Fresh round. You know what I mean? Watch one more time. Number one, boom. Immediately hold the gun. The worst that's going to happen is boom, he shoots one, but he doesn't hit you. He hits him. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I need my bags. <laughs> After you do the defeated, you shoot Bill. Woo, Bill. Thumb up. Thumb. No. Yes. No. Yes. Thumb up. Tight. Grab your hand. Slide back. Turn. Catch the gun, strip the gun, give it to yourself. Fresh round. <laughs> now who's got the gun? Who's stupid, no? Okay, let's try it. But he, he won't, he's not cooperating. So, you know, you tell him that. C'est lorsque vous avez un adversaire qui est sur le ventre, vous voulez le down, down, mais il ne veut pas give, coopérer. Give me your arms and he's not cooperating. Give me your hands, give me your hands. He's not cooperating, right? So here's what you do. You kneel, you put your knee here, and you put your foot here. Then you woosaw wrap. Oh, give me your give me your arms, give me your arms. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's, he's gonna cooperate. So I like to put my knee here and my foot right there. Then I grab this foot and I wrap it with my elbow like this. And now the enemy is gonna give you his arms. He'll cooperate. Cross and then a couple like this. So after you, anytime you block, if you block like this, this hand's gonna go over and there's your cuff. So it's pretty easy. You just after you block something, cross under, hand goes to his armpit, and then you can go. <coughs> Bryce, you're, uh, you're on the car, and you could. Now, you don't have your thumbs, right? So, Bryce, he, he, he's not fighting, but he's stiff, you know? And I go, come on, come on, come on. You, you won't come? Here's what I do. You put one hand on his elbow, 
and this hand, this hand goes on the elbow. This hand, I go to the thumb. Come on. Right. So as soon as, as soon as you grab his thumb like that, he's fighting with Christ. He's going. So you get his you know, thumb. And that'll that'll help. So. Tout moins bras libre. Ah, et si jamais il a If I have to block, then I go. Okay. And then I give myself the chain. Voilà. Il va servir de cette main-là, donc finalement. And then once I have the chain voilà. like this, see, he can't, he can't fight me. So, for a second. So let's say you, you clip the chain. No, no. You, 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 you got Bryce, and you hold that. Now, Bryce, you try to elbow him. So now, go around the neck and hand yourself the chain. Yes. See. Mm -hmm. Now you, and what, the more you fight. The more you fight, the more you choke. Oh, no, 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 to stop the elbow. Now this is the next thing I do. I go over like this. Okay, turn around guys. Then what I do is I give myself the cuff like that. And now if Bryce pulls, he chokes himself. So this is um, my tactic. So of course, yes, I'm gonna cuff the other hand. But as soon as, explain to him in, in, in English or in French. As soon as I get one hand cuffed and I cuff my opponent, I cuff the bad guy, I always grab the chain afterwards. Il attrape toujours la chaîne lorsqu'il doit me doter quelqu'un. And then, that way, I try to do this, but if he fights me, and he goes to elbow, I go to block, and I'm holding the chain like this. And then, when I slip around, I can give myself the cuff. See? Voilà, donc lui, au lieu d'aller chercher, forcément à, à choper l'autre main avec la, la, la menotte, il va plutôt attraper la chaîne et il va laisser plus ou moins ce bras libre. Hein, et si jamais il so, a un adversaire, il va then I go, ok, and then I give myself the chain. Voilà. Et il va servir de cette main-là, donc finalement. Et puis, quand j'ai la chaîne comme ça, il ne peut pas me battre. Donc, il ne peut pas me battre.